I'm Sylvain Camus. I'm part of the Team Garmin Adventure. And I'm a trial runner and uh, osteopath. And with my brother, we train together for several long distance trial runs. My name is Sebastian Camus. I'm uh, part of the Team Garmin Adventure. I'm a trial runner and I'm a teacher in a professional center. I'm married and I have two children. First thing I'm doing in the morning is this stress course test, which I do always at the same time. It helps me to determine if I am relaxed and if I can train hard or if I need to recover. This stress score is between 1 to 100. The closer you are to 1, the better you are. As a tri runner, I need to continuously work my speed on the track, that's why I'm here. The running dynamics enable me to analyze cadence, strain length and symmetry of movement. The vertical oscillation is important to define the bounce while running. Your movement has to be forward facing instead of the vertical. If your vertical oscillation is higher than 10 cm, you lose energy to go up instead of forward. The ground contact time must be under 250 milliseconds. If you are over, you are not dynamic enough and therefore you lose energy. The ground contact time balance has to be 50-50. If it's unbalanced, you might have a technical or physical dysfunction. Felix Free helps you to work on your right step frequency, which is called cadence. The cadence needs to be around 180 steps per minute to be efficient. As I am a long distance runner, I need to have the best running technique possible to not lose too much energy. In a race of 170 kilometers, it can make a big difference. The life track function gives to my family the security otherwise to know what I am. It's also useful for trekking athletes in a race or to find my friend on a track. I'm starting the virtual part now. Let's see if I can beat my brother. The virtual partner is a great tool to push and to perform, but also for train for long distance race. You can easily tell if you're falling behind compared to your goal. Don't speak, eh? Yeah. <laughs>